you say you want commitment from him. And what I'm trying to say to you is when people show you who they are, believe them. If you want to be single, then just be single. And if you want to be in a committed relationship, choose someone who's not going to cheat. Here is today's case. We decided to move in together back in March, and since then I'm having all these red flags. Lies after lies, getting caught red-handed, denying it, hiding naked pictures of other girls. That might be a red flag. What do you have to say, Mr. Schmitz? All these insecurities are based off of my profession. I was cleaning up his uh, room one day, and a phone falls out of his pocket. I didn't want to show her or tell her because of the allegations that will come back to me. The worst thing you could have done with Miss Ariola is to have a second phone and she finds it and she doesn't know about it. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, as you know, for the first time on Divorce Court, we have a virtual audience and it's filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Kira from Houston, Texas. Kira, welcome to Divorce Court. We're so happy to have you with us. Your Honor, this is the case of Ariola versus Schmitz. Thank you, Juan. Miss Alicia Ariola. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Mr. Johnny Schmitz. Yes, Your Honor. To divorce court today. You are suing for $150 for a car repair bill. Yes, ma'am. I also understand the two of you have been in a relationship for three years. Yes, Your Honor. You've had a number of issues that are now causing you to go your separate ways, you say. Yes. And I understand, sir, you also brought a witness with you. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Yes, ma Mecca Enigbo. Yes, Your Thank Honor. Thank you for being here, sir. I will hear from you shortly, but first I'd like to hear from you, ma'am. Give me some background and tell me what's happening here. Well, I, um, I'm bringing Johnny here today because we decided to move in together back in March. And since then, I'm having all these red flags. Red flag after red flag after red flag. Mm -hmm. um, it wouldn't be such an issue to me if he would actually clear my, like, con you know, like my mind or whatever, mm -hmm. but he gets offended every time I ask him, so. What are two of the red flags you say you've seen in the last several months? Lying. Lies after lies, getting mm -hmm. caught red-handed, denying it, mm -hmm. um, hiding naked pictures of other girls. Mm. I'm in his phone. Okay, that, that might be a red flag. What do you have to say, Mr. Schmitz? What's going on? All these insecurities are based off of my profession, okay. which is photography. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of my clients are female models. And nowadays, um, especially with social media, they're very revealing. Um, I don't ask them to pose like that or whatever, it's just them. And she comes across these photos because I don't hide anything because it's my job, it's my profession. And I don't know And it's know become an issue? For her, it has. The two of you have been together for three years. Yes. Have you been a photographer all three of these years? Yes, my, I guess, direction as far as my photography has shifted since we first started. Mm -hmm. um, I actually met her because she was my client. Um, for headshots for her business, but the money is more in the more uh, risque type photography. So that's where I've kind of directed my, my profession. What type of photography do you do now? How would you describe it? Um, boudoir, okay. pretty much mm -hmm. glamour type shots. Understand. Yeah. So do you have a problem with his job? Glamour shots, I have no problem with whatsoever, Your Honor. It's just the constant nudes. And like, why is he saving them to his camera roll? Well, he is a photographer. That is what they do, save their photos. They, I, they generally don't delete them. Okay, but in his phone though, like, he, that doesn't he have a, like, because he has like his camera mm -hmm. and then his phone. And so his phone if phone. he were to separately save photos in his camera versus his phone, you would have absolutely no problem with them? Probably, I mean, maybe. I'm gonna take that as a no. <laughs> <laughs> because, he, because here's where we are. 90% of his clients are women. If he changed professions, would you have an issue with Mr. Schmitz? And what you said are the, the lying and the, the infidelity. But it's not just with his job either, though. It's mm -hmm. other like, problems we're having in the relationship that he lies about as well. So. What happened with the two phones? The two phones? Um, I was cleaning up his uh, room one day, mm -hmm. doing his laundry, and a phone falls out of his pocket. A phone that I haven't seen. Mm. So I asked him about it. Of course, he gets offended. And I ask him, I'm like, how long have you had this phone for? Mm -hmm. And he said, for about a year. Why did you have a phone that she didn't know about for a year? I need to separate professional and private life. Mm -hmm. And to be able to do that, I need the two phones. Otherwise, I'm going to be getting contacted throughout the day, throughout the night, because the models don't really have like a nine to five schedule. Mm -hmm. So they will contact me whenever. Mm -hmm. 
And knowing the history with this and our, our relationship with my, my profession, I know that I need to separate him. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to show her or tell her because of the allegations that will come back to me and to where I have to defend myself. And I'm not really trying to deal with all the drama. I just want to do my work, be with her. Mm -hmm. That's it. And so you're saying you didn't tell her about this second phone because you, you thought that would be a better move for you? I not mean, to tell I, her? I, like, I don't have... The worst office. thing you could have done with Miss Ariola, from what I've heard so far, is to have a second phone and she finds <laughs> it and she doesn't know about it. In hindsight, I should have told her. Mm -hmm. right. But at the moment, dealing with all the stuff that we were dealing with, mm -hmm. I didn't want to compound all the issues, so I decided you to thought, just... You thought, you, you thought less was more? In this situation, yes. W what do you say is, is going on? You say all the issues. What's happening? It's, like, her insecurities about my profession, it's an everyday thing. Mm. Because she's always ha she always has that in the back of her mind to throw these accusations at me because I get offended by that because I'm not doing all the things she's saying I'm doing. Are you doing some of the things she said you're doing? Not the way that she thinks. Explain. No. So, like, all these photos, like, the, the issue about having the photos on my phone, mm -hmm. there are some outlets or, or sites that I use where I need to use the emojis and stuff like that to, mm -hmm. to post, and I can't do that on my computer. Mm -hmm. So I transfer it to my phone to be able to be able to access all that, because nowadays, mostly everything's derived for the phone mm -hmm. as opposed to the computer, which is the main reason why I do it. That is true, actually. You don't believe that? Has he done anything that would lead you to believe that he actually is cheating or seeing someone else? I looked down and there was a condom wrapper in the trash can. Well, tell me about the wrapper that was in the trash. What happened? So... You found a condom. Uh, yes. In the trash at his studio after he'd been working one night. Yes. Went to his studio, popped up, wanted to say hi to him, whatever. He wasn't answering my texts, ignoring my calls. So I went in, went to go freshen up, looked down, and there was a condom wrapper in the trash can. Mm. So, of course... The wrapper? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what and happened? So you went to I, him and said yeah, I went to go. I went to go talk to him about it, and of course, like he always does, walks away from the situation comes back and talks whenever he's ready to do it. Did he give you a response at the time? That his friend, Mika, that he, it was his rapper. And he said that to you immediately? Yes, ma'am. Has he done anything over the course of, of, of these few years besides change the direction of his photography that would lead you to believe that he actually is cheating or seeing someone else? The phone, mm -hmm. the way he responds to the condom. I mean, mm -hmm. if it was nothing, he could have just... His response to things, like, makes me feel like he's not being... He's faithful. not being forthcoming. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Do you actually think he's cheating? I mean, maybe not necessarily. Maybe it's some of my insecurities, but... What are your insecurities? I'm just insecure. About what? Is it because he works with models? I think models? so. I think a lot of them have to, like, they're way younger than me. And, of course, they're always nude. He's always... Like, everybody's, like, he's saving the pictures to his private camera roll. Mm -hmm. I just don't feel... I feel like you keep a... I don't know, just... Well, tell me about the rapper that was in the trash. What happened? So How'd she, it get there? <laughs> she found the rapper after um, a, video, a video shoot, a music video shoot. Um, what kind of music video? It was a rap video. Okay. Um, so uh, my friend Mecco is the rapper that we shot the video for. He mm -hmm. w he's the one that set everything up. Mm -hmm. I'm his camera guy. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a one-man crew, so I, I just focus on my camera and the work that I'm doing at the moment. Let me ask you something. Yes. The, you have this video shoot. You're there. How many other people are at the shoot? Probably a couple dozen. We, 24 people? It's, it's, it's a lot. What were you shooting exactly? Um, it was his, his rap music video. And, and so and he needed like a, a crowd of people, mm -hmm. you know, his entourage behind him and stuff. We had girls there too, you know, mm -hmm. to liven up the, um, the visuals. She comes... Did you see anything during the time that you were shooting to lead you to believe that someone had slipped off during this video shoot and there was something else going on? Did you so, see anything for yourself? So after the video, you know, we all, since we all know each other, we don't just disperse automatically. It's not like a job that we're doing. Um, after that, it's like the after party type energy. So I'm not watching everything like it's a production anymore. It's, it's just like, we're just 
chilling. Hanging out. Yeah, we're hanging out. Well, how did you so quickly know that the rapper belonged to Megan? Exactly. Well, it was the, the timing. You know, she, it was the day after, somewhere, sometime close. And I'm not, like, emptying the trash every day mm -hmm. within the studio. How do you know in that moment when she asks you that it's okay. Mecca, one of 23 other people? So, since Mecca was the one that set up the whole shoot, he was the one that I had direct contact with. Mm -hmm. So, that I decided to text him and see if it was him because I was going through this issue. Mm -hmm. And he... he admitted that it was him. He went to the bathroom with one of the girls and... Okay, do you have those text messages? No, I don't. Are they still in your phone? Mm. Probably. Do you have that phone with you today, sir? Um, the we phone? can resolve this once and for all. No, Look I at don't the text have messages. that phone with me. I have my personal phone with me. Exactly. So, that, those were text messages on your business phone that Right, day. right, right. But you do have the messages. You said they're just not on the phone that's with you today. No, I don't think they're on the message because the, the work phone, I keep clean. Just so well, let's hear I'm from your witness, Mr. <laughs> Mecca. Your Honor, they've been friends for like 17 years. He's gonna lie for him. Sir, Okay. was it the rapper's rapper? She knows it's mine. I don't know why she would feel he has to lie about it. So you still don't believe? I don't, I'm sorry. So not only is he lying, but he is engaged in a huge cover-up. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Mr. Mecca? Yes, Your You've Honor. You've been sworn in today to tell the truth, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. I'd like to hear from you. Are you the perpetrator of this rapper? Your Honor, they've been friends for like 17 years. He's gonna lie for him. No, okay, first of all. No, he is. He Ms. Ms. Ariola, uh, I am sure that Mr. Mecca is going to offer his unbiased and objective testimony in court today. Yes, he sir. understands he's been sworn to tell the truth. Sir? Okay. Was it the rapper's rapper? She knows it's mine. I don't know why she would feel he has to lie about it. Mm -hmm. It was just in the midst of a video shoot. Mm -hmm. Things got out of hand. It was a lot of, you know, alternative beverages involved. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it kind of all just happened. Everything is semi-blur, but I did fess up to it when he asked me, because I didn't, I initially didn't even know why he was asking me. Mm -hmm. I was just, oh, he saw it. Oh, yeah, you know, I didn't know all these secondary things Questions going were gonna come up. Them. You didn't know the reason why he was asking you and that, that he, at that point, was under an investigation. You weren't aware at that time. Exactly, and they ended up calling me, actually, and so, and I, I told him, what are you, my dad, you know, like, who are you? And we're, that's just how we joke. I've known him for years, so we, like, kind of laughed about it. And So I, after the text conversation, they called you as well? Correct, he, he did, mm -hmm. yes. And I don't know if he, I don't know whether they had me on speaker or whatever the case mm -hmm. is, but... It just seemed fake okay. to me, honestly. So you, you still don't believe I him? do not, Your Honor, I'm really? sorry, I do not. I don't, I'm sorry. Mm. Interesting. I have no reason to lie on the Micah, sworn I, You oath. lie a lot though, sweetie, let's be honest. Lie you do. about what? Really? I don't, Your Honor. This, you see what this. I mean? Like okay, this is, Mr. this is like... <laughs> but Your Honor, Mr. whenever... Nico, thank you, yes. thank you, sir. I appreciate no, your testimony you. here at court today. <laughs> you don't believe your boyfriend. You think he actually had sex with okay. somebody else at his studio? Because that's what, when you say that Mr. Enigmo is lying and you don't believe him, that's what you're saying. Okay, you believe well, he did that? Just the way everything went down, the way the phone call went down and everything makes me believe that it was all set up, it was a lie. So, so then you and do. Just, so that, that is what you a think. A part of you, me does, yes, Your Honor. So, but you're not willing to commit to the fact that you think he's actually sleeping with someone else, you're saying that you just don't believe their story. Like I said, it's just lie after lie. For instance, like a couple weeks ago, I was cleaning out his truck and found about six or seven cigarette boxes in his, car, in his truck after he told me that he was not smoking. He had quit smoking about five years ago. Mm -hmm. You started smoking again? And you were hiding that too? Here's the issue, Mr. Schmitz. The best way you think to handle this relationship, the best route to take for you is less is more. So you don't tell her certain things, and when she finds out on her own, it's a bigger issue in her mind because, oh, you're not telling me the truth about this. What else are you not telling me the truth about? Right. And so she's jumping to conclusions. I am. Because I've asked many questions today. 
what's happening, what's going on, where's your proof of this, do you have anything to support your allegations? But it's these, what you would call, white lies. Mm -hmm. right. Or lies that you think protect your relationship more because if you don't tell her this, this is not something that will hurt her. Right. But in the end, in her mind, it's like, okay, I don't have the truth. I never get the truth from her, Your Honor, ever. Well, if that, Just... no matter what's happening between the two of you, if that's how you feel, this is why you're here in divorce court. You're suing for $150. What is that about? He asked me to front him some money for his car. And I loaned him the money. He told me come October, he would pay me back. And here it is October, and he still hasn't paid me back. At the time when she loaned you the $150, did you promise to pay her back at that time, sir? He did. I don't remember Multiple saying that times. I was going to Multiple pay her times. back. Because, like, I, I see us, we've been together. What do you remember for, saying, sir? We've been together for a while. What do you remember saying? <laughs> Thank you for the help. You know, I help you, so I don't understand why that she's asking me to pay her back when I've helped her so many times. I've spent so much money. Do you have any proof, ma'am, that he promised to pay you back this money? I do, actually. You do? Cash Great. App. Oh, the cash. Well, that shows that you sent it. $150. Oh, as far as, like, him telling me that he would... Mm. And that says for apartment deposit. So that was for something else. Am I right? Yes. Okay, so you don't have proof of the $150. I have no problem ordering couples to repay money because people do make loans when they're in relationships. But just like when you're out of a relationship, you have to bring some proof. Yes. Here's the bigger issue. You're very concerned that he might cheat on you and it's compounded by his profession, what he does, and the fact that he takes nude photos or partially nude photos of women. And for and you, it's a big and... issue. The other issue is you, your way of minimizing conflict is not telling her the whole truth and it's actually detrimental. I understand that now. To the relationship and the communication because she does not see a difference in the lies. Right. So whether or not he is, it's not even the issue anymore. The issue is you think he is and that's no way to be in a relationship. What you can't do is stay in their relationship and punish him, your way of punish him, by continuing to make you these accusations because it means neither one of you are happy. I'm not ordering him to pay the $150, but Miss Ariola, you have a decision to make, ma'am. Because if you don't trust him, it doesn't matter if you love him. I didn't ask you about love. I asked you about trust. Because if you don't trust him, you don't believe what he says today. You stood before me and I asked you, do you believe he told you the truth about the rapper? You said no. So not only are you saying that he lied, you're also saying that he went through the effort to bring another witness to stand up in court and lie on his behalf as, as well. So not only is he lying, but he is engaged in a huge cover-up with his friend Mecca. You said yourself that you have your own insecurities and your own suspicions. So you have to decide either you're going to trust in your relationships and risk getting hurt because that's what happens. When you trust, you put your heart on the line, yes. you risk getting hurt, or you're gonna continue to look for ways to accuse him. Good luck to both of you. Honestly, after hearing somebody kind of tell me, I kind of see how I'm kind of maybe acting out of line. Maybe I needed a reality check, honestly. I'm gonna think about getting counseling too, honestly, because that's something that we talked about too, so. Judge Faith did kind of open my eyes to how I was uh, lacking communication. And so I'm realizing the little white lies that I did tell Alicia did kind of compound her uh, insecurities. We'll just have to, a, lot of, a lot to talk about when we get back home. We'll see where things go when we get it, back it's, from Texas. I think it's both of us. I think we both Cause have and effect, so we'll see it. what happens. We'll be okay, okay? You know, when, once we get home, it'll be fine.